YouTube, what is going on, Snipe Squad? What is up, man? It is your boy, it's Never Jones, back with another video. And today's video is different. As I told you guys, I am now saving up for my new iMac desktop, which means I have to come up with creative ways to give you guys content. And this was something I've been meaning to do for a long time. I've always wanted to do reactions. I've always wanted to just do videos like this. I just never got around to it. And this is the perfect opportunity to do my first reaction on this channel. And what better to do a reaction to than about rich people buying sneakers. For one, I mean, you know, honestly, it's so many sneakers out there I wish I could get. And watching Shopping with Complex has always been one of my favorite things to do on YouTube other than like self-motivation videos and stuff like that because they be picking up some stuff I always wish I had. And today, we got nobody other than P.J. Tucker. If y'all don't know who P.J. Tucker is, you sleep because this guy won like kicks on court champion three years in a row. He, he didn't rock just about everything on court. I mean, every time I look on Instagram, or look on kicks on court, this guy's pulling out something crazy out the bag. So I'm actually excited to see exactly what he gonna pick up from Complex, cause like, what don't you already have? So guys, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this video, cause I'm actually excited to see what in the heck PJ Tucker about to pick up, cause I thought he already had everything. So this, this is new to me. Let's see what we got, baby. Boy, I already got the uh, Gundam 98 song. Those things are crazy. Those are pretty limited. Filet! What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Flight Club with the NBA Sneaker King, yes, PJ sir. Tucker. If somebody can play basketball in the mags. PJ got a strap, mm -hmm. too. He can shoot do some that sneaker thing. shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then this, hopefully he's gonna buy some But if you are 1v1 for some, for some shoes, we can get it in, bro. I play college ball, too, boy. Don't sleep on me. Don't sleep on me. The rollie on the wrist. First for sneaker shopping, we're in a sneaker store, but you actually brought samples that no one could get. Let's talk through Ooh. some of these. We have Off UNC the threes, Come on, Oregon bro. threes, Oregon fours. Is there one that currently Oregon sticks collab. out to you? Crazy. I would That'd say the hardest one. to find was the Oregon four. Oregon okay. four, the white Oregon Man. four was like, I guess I'm saying, PJ Tucker goes, got just about everything, bro. Like, what don't he have? I had? think with playing basketball and sneakers, there's no line. Having shoes and playing basketball with shoes like this, if I have them, I'll play in them. If they right. go with my colors or if I can make it work, then I'm gonna yeah. play in them. When I grew up, he plays I got in shoes anything, to man. play in. Crazy, you know man. what I'm saying? So it wasn't getting shoes and hoarding them or getting them just to show off. No, it's getting them to play in them because that's what basketball Rock your for. kicks. Right here. PJ said it the best. These, I would uh, open exclusive them, rock PEs, your kicks, man. Michigan threes. These you got recently, Michigan right? Michigan files are crazy. Yeah, I just too. got these recently, and I just actually right before this yesterday, I just got another pair of them. So these will be played in this year. Okay. There's no doubt about it, whether they match or not. These are my favorite. Chris Paul, even when I first pulled these, he was like, "Dude, are they really navy?" He loves navy blue, so okay. I don't even care. Like I'm gonna get fine because I'm gonna wear these shoes in the game. Come on, bro. He just got it to blow, man. He, he just got it to blow. He said he gonna get fine because he gonna rock them shoes. They got two pairs. PJ, the Tom Sachs are in my top five. Oh, oh. You Instagram that they're maybe one of your favorite shoes of all time. It's Everybody new, like these. That's seen Michael B. Jordan on episode. I think what they represent. It's crazy, Tom Sachs. Let me know down below like, in the description box if you want so me to caught up in the hype. Let me know down, down below in the comment like, section if you want me to drop one on Michael B. Jordan. Nike products, he did a shot for the complex too. Uh, the and colors, everything about the shoes, unbelievable. Easily top five, daily wear for me. Of course, you played in all the Yeezys. You played in the Yeezy ones and the Yeezy twos. Which Boy, one who, worked I'm out better? I'm hoping it ran October, bro. Yeezy one, <laughs> it's crazy because the materials are different. On the only thing you ain't hooping yet is Air Max. Really I wouldn't even be surprised if you do that. They're really hot top, and you can't get away with it. Really not basketball shoes. The Yeezy twos are. PJ Tucker don't even look like a sneakerhead. Really I ain't judging him, but just look at him. Good grip. Everything you can't just take a look at this guy and say he hooping Yeezy ones. Kind of have a lot of. the hell I can. One shoe, you said that you know. You would draw the line at not playing in the mags. Have you ever even thought about it? I have never watched this video before. I'm, I'm putting it out there now. I've never watched this video. I literally just the thought of the Air Max because I've seen it in the back. I, there's no way that you're hooping in a mag. First of all, I couldn't do it because they're 13. That's crazy. I, I, just, I, I did not see this video, so, I promise you. I'm just, just thinking maybe why not an Air Mag? So, there's no way. Uh, if somebody could really run up and down the courts of mags, then you're, you're the man. Do you remember I your first pair of great sneakers when you were young? I was born in 1985, so my first pair of shoes I ever had old. were the Jordan ones. I'm from North Carolina, so everybody uh, like the ones, baby. Like the biggest Michael everybody Jordan like fan. the ones. A Carolina, big Carolina fan. My first pair of shoes were actually Jordan ones. Who don't like Jordan ones? It's impossible, kind of, not to like. You're Jordan playing ones. in the Sean Marion fives. Someone yells, "Where'd you get those?" 
It was I've never even seen those shoes before. What was it like to have a shoe that he didn't even get? I'm literally this dude important. is rocking like, shoes that Michael names. Jordan doesn't have. He grabs all the time. But Don't even know. The voice was distinctive. I knew who it was. So Bro, as soon as what? I turned around and seen him, I was like, I, I couldn't even respond. It was crazy. That's Again, crazy. This side, super That's rare crazy. sneakers, fifty thousand dollar Jeters. <laughs> that I shoe don't even know is about the one shoes of the craziest PEs ever. If you ever got Those a chance to hold it and see it, Chris Paul is my teammate. He's my friend. We've been on him since we were kids. One of the best Jordan collections. He's sponsored by Jordan. That's my favorite player. He didn't have jersey over there. I show him a picture. Okay. We're in the locker room. I show him a picture. CP. He grabs my phone, looks at the picture. <laughs> I lie to you not. He goes, those are crazy. I go, yeah, yeah, those are crazy. I show him how much they were. One week flat, he walks over him on his feet. Wow. He stops wow. and looks at me, smiles, and keeps walking. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Damn. He should have been with Jordan yeah, Brand. No, bro. Come on, CP. Super selfish, wow. man. Put yeah, you better yes. than that, CP. Yes. You yes. On, dog. yes. You're the ghost right in the hitch for him. The state farm. DJ, now more than ever, you're people walking boy. into locker rooms are covered by player. blocks. You got, you got to look up the squad, bro. Everybody eats. Q and Complex and all these other mainstream outlets. Well, I got moving in off white. That's straight Rockets colorway. I'm not surprised with that. I don't really pay attention to it. My friends show me and do this and that, but. Uh, for me, wearing those wasn't about the coverage. It was more about showing the kids. Well, I would want the off white ones. It's not about bro. like them getting ones them and holding them and like I like yeah. the first ones before like, the, the year. Yeah, wear them on court. Like who cares? Like it's another pair of shoes, you know. So for me, it's bigger than just, just shoes having the the shoes and showing them off to of your friends. It's actually a pair that of beat, though. shoes, you know. I like that beat, boy. They switch it up, homie. Another one of my favorites, Ginger 16s. To me, super underrated, and now Ginger 16s people are waiting for them to come yeah, back. Yeah, But you tried to play in them, and unfortunately, oh, no. didn't work out. Joe, what you happened? Boy. Shoe, man, it's one of my favorites. I think it's one of the most slept on Jordans yeah, of all I time. Agree. When I got the chance to pick, I was like, I'm definitely hooping in them, found them. Actually, I got these and the Cherry Woods, which was uh, crazy. Cherry Woods are the best. Hooping in them. Yeah. The Dude, best 16 I swear, the best to me. Even though all Three minutes. Like, it was crazy. The whole soul came off. All my teammates and things you remember, they were on the really? bench Damn. crying. One of the most comfortable, best basketball Jordans ever. Never heard of from his shoes just for another reason. Does it ever become a distraction yeah, when you them? Rip. Sometimes it is when you gotta think about if they're gonna yeah. they're gonna actually break. Right. The Hirachi 2K4, my favorite another shoe classic. of all time. Uh, yeah, that's a, yeah. three for sure. They came back Every out with time I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna break, it's gonna break, especially a lot of times. You know, NBA players got big I'm really out of guard. I can't make filet, you know? Filet. I get PJ Tucker, but PJ, that's on me. Jordan bro. talk, a lot of signals. Nah, he's low key like a defensive player. Air Max, you yeah. love Air Maxes. Air Maxes are my favorite. 98s, man, uh, they making a comeback. You got them on now. I hope you enjoy it. Crazy, all that stuff. It's always fun. Day to day. 95 Air Max guy, man. I wear Air Maxes every day. Catch me. Tears are dope. Okay, what are your favorites? Um, um, bunch, classic. Like you can't like. Classic. These are rich. I probably got cool. 18 to 20 pair of these on ice. Kind of ready. If I see another pair for sale, I'm buying them. I wear these. I like the greedy. I like the Air well, Max 95 greedy. Those, those now, are crazy. Easy part. You get those, the browser shows. Out, yeah. See what you're coming out with. All right. Let's do the it. The part I've been waiting for. Then do it, man. What are you about to cop? That's what I want to see. I want to see okay, what you're Okay, so I know it's a little up. unconventional. Uh, right, right, right. right. I sneaker shop. As soon as I come in, especially the Fight Club, when I get to New York, come see my girl Anita. We come straight to the room. He know the people by name. And we start to find stuff that I need. So this is how I do it. Anita, let's do it. This nigga goes through the inventory list. He don't even look around. Oh my God. The TNs and another Vapor Max man? Plus. Oh man, God. I think we good for the day. Damn. Damn. so, man. You cashed out, man. <laughs> like day. <laughs> respect and respect. God. He didn't even look around. PJ Tucker, bro, if you ever watch this, you are my inspiration, bro. One day, how many damn shoes? I put okay, money so just over seven thousand. Sixteen thousand nine hundred forty-four dollars and fifty-seven cents. Thank you. Thank you. $15,000, bro? God damn! You should have just 
So the NBA sneaker king, PJ Tucker, came through, did major damage. Thanks so much for taking the time. $16,000. Make sure you check him out on the court, Houston Rockets. All right, y'all, that's it for the PJ Tucker pickup video. Bruh just spent, oh, let, me, let me turn that. I need a second. PJ Tucker just spent $16,000. Sneaker shopping. You might as well open up your own damn flight club with $16,000. $16,000? Bruh, $16,000? $16,000 of them things. Oh my God. Listen, it is your boy Sniper Jones. I appreciate y'all stopping in, checking this out. I'm about to tweet PJ Tucker. You gonna have to play me one-on-one -on -one for some of them kicks, boy. Please make sure you leave a like down below in the comment section. If you're already Snipe Squad, comment down below. Already know, game, game.